Hey guys, Clyde here live at Leechburg Lights. I want to take you through a uh, quick video on how to copy and paste from your existing x -Lite sequence into a brand new x -Lite sequence. So without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and open up my x -Lite program. This is going to take just a moment or two. And uh, once this opens, we're just going to select any file and uh, any sequence that is and go ahead and open it. So, well, I've changed my directory, it looks like. So we'll go ahead and change my directory back to what it should be, which is Dropbox, Nutcracker, Select Holder. And there we go. That looks more familiar. Let's open a sequence from this screen. And let's go to, um, let's go to Carol the Bells. Uh, Carol the Bells is kind of uh, a good example because I used this exact uh, format to create this from a, a, a custom sequence I had done for somebody else. So um, we'll go ahead and close out that little tab and what you can see here is you can see I've got some timings here. I'm gonna select the beats timing and I'm gonna get rid of this one here uh, and I'll zoom in a little bit and uh, let's say I am going to uh, whatever sequence this is, doesn't matter, um, I'm going to copy my mega tree from this sequence and I want to put it into a brand new sequence for somebody else. Let's see. I, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the desktop. I'm going to minimize this x lights and I'm going to open up another x lights screen. Now opening up a second x lights screen doesn't, in my experience, hinder or hurt one or the other as you're doing it. Just make sure that you are saving your work as you go that way you don't lose anything because that's I mean it's really important as soon as you create an effect or you do some effects click the save button make sure you keep updating that so now instead of opening I should be doing a new sequence and we'll do a new musical sequence it doesn't matter uh, what song you select because you're just at this point copying and pasting actually kinda does matter let's go back to that media file uh, because we want the same timing so we have Carol the Bells David Foster open that and let's go to timings and I'm gonna only add uh, one new timing and that is the bars uh, this is the uh, vamp uh, audacity vampire plugin Queen Mary vamp plugin you can find it on the uh, the download page for X lights nutcracker and when you install it along with uh, 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 audacity I have I use audacity a lot um, when you install it what it does is it adds this option into X lights and it's automatic that whenever you go to this uh, opening sequence wizard that you can add in these timing grids that process the audio and find your beats and bars for you so it's very helpful I really like that feature so I'm just gonna click done now that it's completed that cycle and I'm gonna go over to my sequencer tab and you can see I have no data in here whatsoever I'm gonna go down here and select all groups now uh, when you do that it's going to bring up all your other stuff, but now I just lost my bars uh, timing. So I'm going to go back into Add. I'm on my um, I'm on my Sequence Elements screen. I'm going to go in and Add, and I'm going to hit um, Bars Timing and Add that. And then it just put it up there. I close this out. Now I should have an exact bars timing that should match with my other X Lite sequence. So if I scroll down here and I select the original sequence, and let's say once again. I want to go to the, uh, that's beats, let's go to bars. Maybe I don't have bars on here. Okay, so let's go to beats. Let's go make a beats. Here's 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 another helpful tip. Let's say you've created a, uh, a, t a, a sequence uh, and you want to add a new vampire plug timing. Just go click on this little cog here, go to timings, and let's click on new, and I'm going to come down here and select bar and beat tracker, beats. Click OK. There you go. This was a freebie. I should charge you for this, but I'm really not going to because I think it's important you guys all learn this. Anyway, once this is done processing the audio, you'll see that it's been added. Click Done. Select Beats. Deselect anything else. I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to scroll all the way over to the left. It's important. It, for me, it was always important to start as far left as possible. The first cell or block that you can click in, that's important to be able to, to, to grab it. So we're going to look for my mega tree, which is right here. And now I'm going to come down here and switch from this screen back to this one. I'm going to zoom in here, and I'm going to scroll all the way over to the left. 
and I'm going to select my mega tree right here. Looks like I have three uh, layers. I don't know that I used layers in this tree. Nope, doesn't look like I used any layers in this tree. Oh, I did. Look there. So we'll copy those layers as well. Let's zoom out. I'm going to hit the minus key. And we'll, z we'll scroll left here. Zoom out again. And I'm going to click and drag. Oop. How about I zoom in a little bit more? I'm going to click and drag. Whoops, that's kind of more than I wanted. Now I'm going to click and drag that. There we go. And now I'm going to hold the shift key down and I'm going to scroll over. See how if I hold the shift key down that doesn't go anywhere? I'm going to come all the way over here and I'm going to go to my first cell, my first little block here. And now using the keyboard I'm going to hold the control key down and press the lowercase c button. Don't have the caps lock on or it won't work. Hit the control c button and that creates your copy. Right clicking and doing a copy from this screen will not work when you're trying to copy and paste in this manner. Next we'll go over to the mega tree here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert two layers below and now since I'm on the first little square, little cell, little timing mark I'm going to zoom out, I'm in the right place and all I'm going to do is press my control key and hold it and then I'm going to press the V, the lowercase v key V as in Victor and whenever I do so, you can see that all of my sequencing has been automatically entered into the exact same timing using beats as I had done with my original sequence. And so now my mega tree, the entire mega tree, has been copied over. And is now, if I want to uh, take a minute and save this and I push render, hopefully it won't crash on me. <laughs> there we go. And let's select the mega tree and let's go over there you can see there's the uh, there's the rendering of the mega tree and I don't think you can hear the music very well so if we go over here you can see there's one of the effects there there is an effect there a different effect and it's rendering the exact same effects that were on the original sequence which is now stuck on my other screen that I can't pull over there we go all right, so there you go, guys. There's a little, there's a little bit of a, a, a snippet of the video. I, I really wanted to keep it short and sweet and hope this was helpful. Let me know what you think, guys, and uh, have a good one. Th take care and Happy New Year to you all.